I don't know what I want. Is your man saying these words? Let me go out on a limb here and guess that you've been seeing a guy for a while and you know you want to have a relationship with him. The problem? You have no idea what he wants. You even chatted to him about it and he pretty much told you, maybe not these exact words, that he doesn't know what he wants. It is possible that he's just being honest and he genuinely doesn't know what he wants for his life. Or perhaps he's just not sure that you're the right girl for him. And now you're confused. After all, you thought that you were a great match for each other. You get along, there's undeniable chemistry, the sex is passionate, he's a good person, you're a good person, so why in the hell aren't you making it official? It's a confusing scenario. I'm sure you're now wondering whether you should wait for him to make up his mind or whether you should move on and find someone new. Look, I'm a guy and I've been in this situation before. I've dated a lot of girls casually and I've arrived at the I have no idea what I want moment more than a few times. So yes, I know exactly what he is thinking at this moment and I'm going to go through it all with you in the video below. We have a lot to cover so let's get started. What is he truly feeling? Before we start, the unfortunate truth is that there might not be a straight answer for you. After all, the phrase I don't know what I want can mean many different things. He might know that he doesn't like you, but he finds it hard to be honest with you. On the other hand, he might really like you, but he thinks that you don't like him so he's trying to save face. So from my experience, here are some of the reasons he might be saying I don't know what I want. Number 1. He is scared of his feelings. This is a huge reason a man will have no idea what he wants. We can all agree that love is a powerful emotion. And if your man has started to get the feely feels for you, then it could be making him uncertain and confused. Feelings aren't easy to process for men. I've been there. When you don't expect to fall for someone so quickly, it can take you by surprise. You'd think love is nothing but a positive emotion, and in most cases, that is certainly the case. But think about it from his perspective. What if he had his life figured out? He knew what he wanted to do in the future. He had goals, his work, his buddies to drink with. Now that he's met you, everything has changed. He knows he really likes you and it's making him less certain about everything. Love is becoming his main priority in life and he doesn't know how to deal with it. And honestly, he might actually find a relationship with you is highly appealing, but it's just going to take him time to process his emotions. That's why he is so confused right now. And that is why he is telling you that he doesn't know what he wants. The good news? If the feeling of love has taken him by surprise, then eventually he is going to come around. And that means that eventually you'll be in a solidified relationship with him. Your job now is to give him space to process those emotions. Don't pressure him too much. And then everything will work out. Number two, he's not into you. This is probably the one that you don't want to hear. Now, I'm sorry to break it to you, but unfortunately it could be a strong possibility. He might be telling you that he doesn't know what he wants because he wants to let you down gently. He doesn't want to be direct and tell you flat out, I just don't like you enough to be in a committed relationship. Nope. This man tells you that he doesn't know what he wants because he hasn't got the balls to be direct with you. Or this is his strategy to keep you around until someone else comes along. Whichever it is, it isn't good and you're being strung along. If you've got strong feelings for this guy, then it definitely sucks, but consider this. Do you really want to be with a guy that isn't being upfront and honest with you anyway? How could you ever have a healthy relationship if you'd never understand what he is thinking and feeling? Instead of viewing this as a loss, see it as dodging a bullet. Number three, he is terrible at expressing his emotions. The main problem could be that he just doesn't know how to communicate his emotions. Most men struggle to talk about their feelings. I know I'm the same. It just isn't natural. So maybe he does like you, or perhaps he is afraid of commitment. It could be anything, but he is just struggling to put it into words. It's definitely tough to figure out what a guy wants. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that this is a pretty common scenario. It may be a stereotype that men don't talk about their feelings, but it's true. If this is the case, then it's just going to take a bit of time to communicate what he wants to communicate. He might need to feel more trust with you to be more open. Number four, he actually doesn't know what he wants. Guess what? He might actually be telling you the truth. We've all been there. I'm sure you've been at a stage in your life where you just had no idea what you want. And when it comes to relationships, we can all agree that it's a big decision to commit. The choice he is about to make has drastic consequences for his future. 
Should he stay single and keep his freedom to see any girl he wants? Or should he commit to a girl that he really likes? He genuinely and honestly might not know the answer to those questions. It might not just be about you either, but also with his life. Number five, you're not triggering his hero instinct. Have you heard of the hero instinct? It's a fascinating new psychology concept generating a huge amount of buzz at the moment. What does it mean? Simply put, men have a biological drive to be your hero. And if you're not allowing him to step up to the plate to be your hero, then he'll remain unsure about whether he wants to be in a relationship with you. The hero instinct is actually a legitimate concept in relationship psychology. And I personally vouch that it's what men look for. It's important to remember that men and women are different. If you try to treat this man like a friend of yours, then it's not going to work. Men and women crave different things. Just like how women have the urge to nurture those they really care about, men have the urge to provide and protect. Ask any man. He wants to step up to the plate to be the hero for the woman he adores. And if you're not allowing him to do this, then that could be a reason that he is telling you that he doesn't know what he wants. After all, you're failing to satisfy a basic biological urge he can't control but is definitely there. If you want to learn more about the hero instinct, check out the free video by relationship psychologist James Bauer, James Bauer actually coined the term hero instinct, that I've linked to in the description below. In this video, James reveals tips and tricks and little requests you can make to trigger the hero instinct in men. Some ideas are life-changing, and for relationships, this is definitely one of them. Check it out and learn how to trigger the hero instinct in any guy. Number six, he is wondering whether he should put his dreams first. Getting involved in a committed relationship is a big decision. No matter how you spin it, it's bound to take up a huge amount of anyone's time. And men usually have a checklist of things they want to accomplish before they step into a serious relationship. So he may like you, but he is focused on his career and achieving what he wants to achieve. He doesn't want to get involved in a relationship before he has reached all of his personal accomplishments. Don't get me wrong, he probably really likes you, but unfortunately, he wants to focus on something else. That's why he preferred to keep it casual. And if you're pressuring him to be in a serious, committed relationship, he really doesn't know what he wants. What you need to do is show him that focusing on his dreams is also conducive to being in a relationship with you.